Morning everyone, Dave here back in the garage ready to pull some eBay orders and that might be it. I may not have any other orders other than eBay, which has become a rarity at this point, but I think that may be the case. Someone did ask in the comments if I'm just rolling out of bed now to do my order pull videos. Not really, I did shower. I mean, I roll out of bed, I shower, and then I do my order pull videos. So, hold on, let me see. If I can figure out, well, I'm signed out of Mercari again. Half this show is just me trying to log into apps. Yeah, Mercari has been slow for me. Someone was asking me, Dave, how do you sell more on Mercari? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's no secret sauce, just lists there and hopefully stuff sells. It's not like posh where you've got to do like sharing and closet liking and all that stuff. With this one, you've got to like just list and hopefully stuff sells. Let's see, is there any orders? My listings. Yeah, nothing. I got no new sales on Mercari. Sad day. Uh, let's check over on the Posh Mizzle. The Posh Mizzle, that's what we're gonna call it from now on, Posh Mizzle, because we're cool like that. <laughs> Don't sell much on there. Don't sell much at all. Oh, I got a rating. Oh, how do I get money out of Poshmark? I bet I have money in there. <laughs> and I just sold that perfume. I've got all five star ratings on my Poshmark orders. That's cool. So how do I see, I do have a balance. Look at that, I have $165. Redeem your balance. I don't want to redeem it, I want cash. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, you can redeem it by sending money to PayPal or Venmo or direct deposit, okay, cool. Hey, that's a cool thing. I've got money in pay Poshmark. So today, this morning, uh, we were focused on shipping out our whatnot auction. Did a whatnot auction last night, a variety of things, toys, stuff like that. Uh, that got all packed up this morning and it needs to go out. I'll show you the kind of the pile so i'm gonna head down to the post office and hopefully they're not cranky today uh but gonna hand them a whole bunch of boxes should be fun i'm slowly but surely getting better at the unbundle thing on whatnot i think i found the key today if you sell big items before you generate the labels and i know not everyone sells on whatnot but if you do before you generate the labels you need to go find those orders like if someone bought you know four large items you want to find the items and you want to click unbundle on those items so they can get what not can do like separate labels. Seemed like when I did that today, the additional labels from unbundling cost me nothing. But on the two that I didn't unbundle that I should have, I had to do a label adjustment fee. So, you know, that's advice of the day. I did sell some O snaps. I relisted those and started moving them again. I think I sold two of them for 40 bucks a piece. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. My dog, Molly. Come here, Molly. She's kind of freaking out today because... Let's, let's say hi to people. Say hi to everyone, Molly. Molly, what are you doing? She's kind of freaking out. Freaking out because our fire alarm thingy is beeping nonstop. It's just beep, beep, like every minute. And it's got to be 16 feet in the air, right? I do not have a ladder that can reach it. So I don't, I want to try to borrow a ladder or something so I can get up there and fix it. But anyways, what I was saying is I sold those O snaps for $40 a piece over on eBay. So that's pretty good news there. But yeah, she is... Actually, I sold three of them because someone bought two and someone bought one. So I sold three of snaps. But yeah, she's not a fan of the fire alarm. Why would they put it so high? I can't get to it. I mean, I guess I'm glad it doesn't like go off by mistake a lot. So we have one in our kitchen and that one like, you know, if you're searing a steak or something, it gets all smoky and that one goes off and you just push the button, right? Because it's not that far. Stand on a chair, push a button. If that one did that every time we had this situation, it would be incredibly infuri infuriating. But luckily it does not. Sit down, girl. Relax. It's okay. She's very stressed about it. Christmas is fast approaching and I still have to wrap presents. I still have to figure out what to get Tina. I'm thinking Cole, but I don't know. <laughs> I've been busy. I've been um, aggressively busy. I think I've been trying to get things figured out like the, the whole dip dip selling platform. Like we're trying to do our first live, which by the way, we're gonna do. I don't even remember when this video is coming out, but Thursday. This coming Thursday, we're gonna do like a seven hour live, not just me, we're gonna alternate. I might stream some of it on this channel, but it'll be me and then I'll send it over to another seller and they'll send it over to Commonwealth Picker and then he'll send it to someone else and then that person will send it to Pickin' and Punchin and then, so it'll be like this marathon, like 30 to 40 minute segments of all like retro cool stuff, right? Like the goal is to do like cool plush, cool cart, cool toys, all that sort of stuff. I need to figure out what I'm gonna sell on there. I need to kind of look through what I got. You know, maybe I'll do some Squishmallows and some action figures, stuff like that. I could sell my Turbo Man. I could just look at the stuff I keep. That's the kind of stuff I wanna sell on there. My Top Gun Bear. But yeah, we'll be selling all these cool things on Thursday. So make sure you go to our Dibdit. Use my link, you save 10 bucks off your first order. 
uh, I'll put that down below. Go sign up and then enter in. And like I said, it probably won't be that many people there. So there might be sourcing opportunities. I'm not sure. It's not quite like whatnot where it's super crowded yet. So either way, it'll be fun. Just come hang out. And, uh, and it might fail terribly as far as like technically because it's still a pretty new platform. So you can come laugh at us. It'll be a good time. Anyways, I was coming over here for resell to rides bin. They sent me a new sticker. Thank you for that, guys. Uh, it's so much easier to see now. And what did they buy? Oh, they bought, someone bought a ducky. This thing's actually pretty cool. This is a uh, 1980s, I think, plush duck that I listed. And it's called, uh, I think it's called the My Duck, right? And you hold it and you can, you got this little stick at the bottom. You can turn its head. So it's like a puppet kind of a thing. It's got a little stick down there. It's called, see, 1983 My Duck, the pet with the wandering eye. My head turns like this was, you know, really exciting back in the day. So you're supposed to like be holding it and then like, it's just kind of moving its head, like looking at you. It'd be good for a little comedy bit or something. Who are you looking at, duck? Anyways, this sold for $35.99. Free shipping on that one. Uh, so I'm pulling my orders now because I want to get these packed up. And then I'll go down to the post office with these and all the whatnot stuff and just drop it all off and get everything out the door. Is there, like seriously, anything more satisfying than just getting everything shipped? It's something like when I do order pickup, back when I was doing order pickup, I haven't actually tried it in a couple weeks, but when I was doing order pickup, I never really got that satisfaction. But when you go to the post office or the UPS and you just bring everything, you unload your car and it's gone, it got, you know, that is like got to be one of the most satisfying feelings. <laughs> All right, Ford Explorer center cap sold. Let's take a look at those. So, okay, on the whole comic book front, uh, a lot of people I think have been messaging that person who copied my listings. And someone told me that the person responded and said the commenters got it right as far as what that person was doing. I have to assume they mean drop shipping, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, which one sold? These ones. <clears throat> but the person also was like making fun of me in their responses, so I don't think it's a fan of mine. <laughs> they know I exist and they're not a fan, but whatever. We'll see. I actually don't have the comics listed right now. I took them down. I was it right now. I thought it'd be kind of fun if the person's gonna like message people and make fun of me to just not have them for sale. Cause then if they do sell them, they can't even buy them from anyone cause I'm not selling them right now. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things I'm not in a rush, right? I'm never really in a rush to sell something like that cause it's gonna go up in value in my opinion. So, and I've already made over two grand on the comics, but like this is a good example. These popcorn wall sconces, they're not gonna like become more widely available, so I haven't relisted them yet. I will relist them, but I kind of like the way it looks in here, so I'm kind of like not in a rush to sell that. Just like I'm not in a huge rush to sell the comics since I'm already weighing the profit. Anyway, so I sold these Ford little hubcap wheel covers. They're wheel caps. Uh, it's a set of four, sold them for $55.99 plus shipping. Oh, I paid $10 for a giant tote of those and I've already made my profit. Like I'm already in the profit because I've already sold some Dodge, I think two sets of Dodge ones for less. This was the most valuable one I've sold so far. Not bad. $55.99 plus shipping. See, I hear the mailman right now. I wonder if he'd take him if I asked him. <laughs> that one has to go to the post office. What else did we sell? So we sold a tractor, not a tractor. Why am I saying tractor? Oh, it's a flat car with three tractors. That's what it is. Out of 16907 all right, here we go. Yeah, this is a flat car and it's got three little red tractors on it. That's why I said tractors. That was not much. $13, $14 maybe? $13.29 plus shipping on that one. So, you know, nothing crazy. I went over to the Universal Studios Holiday Tribute Store. And it's literally just like a super themed kind of cool store at Universal Studios. But they're selling a bunch of Department 56 Grinch stuff. And because I knew about that, and I went and seen that, I went and saw that like early November, right when it first opened, maybe the second week of November. And so I knew there was Department 56 Grinch stuff and ornaments and so on, and they were selling for like 20 bucks a piece at the tribute store. Well, I went to this garage sale and I saw two of these guys. And I was like, oh, I think those are the Department 56 ones that I saw at Universal Studios. And sure enough, when I got them home, they were. They're really cool. Uh, I paid a buck a piece for them and sold this one for $15, $14.39 plus $6 shipping. So be on the lookout for the Grinch ornaments, naughty and nice, that's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna go back over to Universal Saturday afternoon after I do yard sales with the family and we're gonna, you know, have some Christmas fun. We're gonna see the parade, 
see the show they have like a little seuss show dr seuss show that's supposed to be really cute and after that on sunday anna has her first gymnastics meet of the year in orlando so we're just going to stay over there and do the gymnastics meet so that should be a fun little family weekend time away a little time off a little break i could use it i've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off <laughs> which is kind of a gross thing to say really chicken with your head cut off mm. never cut off a chicken's head but i imagine it's pretty gross <sighs> deep thoughts with dave okay anyways Oh, Mikey's coming today, and I don't know what I'm going to have him work on. could have him do eBay listings. The problem with the eBay training, let me tell you, this might be useful if you guys decide you want to hire someone to help with eBay stuff. The problem with training someone to do eBay is, like, there's a lot of little stuff that you will probably forget to tell the person. And then when you look at the listings, you'll be like, oh, I should have told them this, I should have told them that. And you end up having to kind of redo the whole listing. Not necessarily because they did a bad job, but... Well, at least in my case, because I'm not a very thorough teacher uh, or a good teacher at all. And therefore, I left a bunch of important details out, like taking more than one photo per listing. Minor things, you know, like <laughs> writing uh, the the title in an attractive manner so it's not just uh, serial numbers and stuff. Right. But that's, you know, I didn't teach that. So how would I expect someone to know that? So I, if he comes over, I guess I'm going to have to train him a little harder on eBay or I could have him do some whatnot stuff because whatnot, you don't have to be as picky with that sort of thing. Okay, so I sold this little stealth wallet. It's got an RFID protector, protect, protector, protector, and like you put your cards in it and you push a little button and they like pop out. It's kind of cool. I had a bunch of them, three of them at a yard sale and I made an offer on all three and I believe, I believe I pay. What did I pay? There might still be a price sticker on one of them. I think I paid ten dollars for three. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Not a hundred percent sure, uh, but I did go and sell two of them for twenty-four a piece. So forty-eight dollars for the two. The same buyer, so I might do a partial refund on that one. Because I don't think I think they paid six and six, twelve dollars. It's not going to cost twelve to ship it. But yeah, anyways, I, I have not listed since Tuesday. Tuesday I listed some. It's now. It's been two days basically since I listed. So I do need to do some more listing. What is this? This is uh, a dino. So this actually was listed by Mikey. Actually, the wallets were listed by Mikey too. So Mikey's listings have been selling. So that's really good. Even like some of them have sold with just one picture. Uh, so it, it tells you that if you have a good item and you list it at a good price, it's gonna sell whether or not the listing looks beautiful. Now this dino, says it's supposed to be in PDX Picker, but I do not see it there. Right here. Here it is. All right, Mook's Treasure Trove. That's where it was. This is a Harry Potter. It's a dragon from like Gringotts that, uh, you know, they have this like sitting over the bank at Universal Studios. Anyways, that one sold for $13.50 plus $6 shipping. I think he listed it for $15. Then I sent out like some mass bulk offers. I think I sent a 10% offer out. And that one sold. You know, I never found that golf club. Uh-oh. From the last... <laughs> I totally forgot. Let me see if it's late. Stand by. I had to cancel an order the other day, too. I'm not doing great. That time, Dave gets banned for not shipping in time. Um, no, we're good. As long as I ship it Thursday... Oh, okay, so I gotta ship it today. Let me go see if I can find that golf club. <laughs> Molly is so skittish. Uh, I found it, guys. It's amazing what happens when you can look for something. Titleist Oversize uh, Plus... 8 iron, sold that for $20.99 free shipping. So basically, 12 bucks, nothing crazy. It says shipping's gonna cost me uh, $22, so it's definitely calculating that wrong. Hold on, must have the measurements wrong. $7.19, yeah, $7 to ship it. So I sold something that I sold on Whatnot. During my Whatnot auction, Tina found this lot of Scrub seasons, all the seasons of Scrub, which by the way, I just watched that new movie on Netflix. It's like Leave the World Behind. It's like this apocalyptic movie where basically all the cell phones and networks stop working and everyone starts freaking out because they can't connect with anyone. And the one girl in it really wants to finish the Friends show, right? She's got all the seasons finished and she wants to watch the last episode, but there's no Netflix and so she can't watch it. And so I kept thinking like, I just sold the whole Friends series on DVD out of my storage container a week ago. She could have won that and then she wouldn't have had to freak out. Just saying. There is some value in having DVDs and that's, you know, someone realized that maybe they watch that movie and they're like, I should buy Scrubs on DVD so I can watch it if the apocalypse happens like to connect connect my sales with random movies on netflix that this person's probably not seen anyways it's six seasons i believe one through six of 
scrubs. I paid two bucks for the bag, I think. So, and I got all the seasons in it. Sold that for $30 plus shipping. Now, I sold that over on Whatnot during my container auction. I think I sold it for $25. The buyer canceled the order, so I listed on eBay and sold it for more. Someone was in my whatnot last night saying, why do you do this? Why are you selling on whatnot? You can sell it from way more on eBay. Um, and they're totally right, <laughs> especially last night's auction, right? A lot of stuff was selling far, far below eBay value. You know, I watch Harry Tornado. He does these whatnots all the time. And a lot of times now he's selling stuff at or below eBay value, but it comes down to like just the speed and simplicity is very hard to beat of a live auction whatnot and now hopefully dibdit.com you know our marketplace will be able to sell on there like there's something so valuable about just being able to take one picture type one word take a picture type dragon not have to look at a comp just say starts at two bucks and just sell it and you sell it for two bucks as long as you know you paid like nothing for it it's not a big deal so i started these at two i paid two for the whole lot i happened to get 20 something on on whatnot but even if i had sold them for 10 on whatnot i would have made a nice profit and it would have been really easy so i don't know they were giving me a hard time, but I, I'm i still fine with selling things in live auction format, whether it's whatnot or dip date or anything like that, because to me, it's all about, yes, people will get deals from me, but there's times where they're gonna pay a little more, times where I'm gonna lose money, where, and it's an experience. You're you're providing an experience beyond just going and shopping. You're actually like creating a environment of enjoyment and entertainment. So I, to me, it seems like it's worth it. So, and I'm hoping, I am say, I will say this. I'm hoping that Dibdit gives people a platform to do it beyond what Whatnot provides, because Whatnot's lacking in a way that if you don't have a following, it's pretty hard to grow. Whereas with Dibdit, the goal would be that the marketplace has the following, and therefore anyone who goes live, even if they've never done a live show before, will, when they go live, there'll be a notification sent out saying, hey, Dibdit Marketplace is live, check out our new seller, Bob Johnson. And Bob Johnson, even though it's his first time selling, he might go on Whatnot and get no one watching, since he would have, it would be his first time selling on our marketplace, and it, we've already got a following on our marketplace, he would probably get 30 to 40 people watching, which I think is gonna empower a lot of sellers to sell more for more money in a live auction style, especially sellers who have tried whatnot and have not been able to get a following this is going to provide a following form. So we'll see. I will say this, though, because I got an angry message the other day because someone applied to join the sellers on our district, our Dibdit. They hadn't gotten approved yet. We're, we've got hundreds of applicants to sell on there. We're looking for sellers who want to sell the kind of stuff we're selling on that marketplace, which is like sports cards, uh, collectibles, 80s, 90s, Y2K, pop culture type stuff, right? A lot of the stuff I like to sell that Harry Potter dragon would be a good example. Uh, as far as what I sold on eBay. Pretty much everything else I sold on eBay today wouldn't really be something we'd want in our marketplace. You know, plush duck, meh. Maybe because it's 80s, but other than that, not that... Oh, this would go on. This naughty or nice cringe would go on there because that's pop culture. But most of that stuff, yeah, you know, and I think that's part of it. So people were like applying to be on our Dibdit and they're saying they want to sell golf clubs and it's like, eh, it's not a golf club marketplace. So our goal is to approve lots of new sellers, but we also don't want to sign up too many sellers before we have followers, you know, then we have billions and millions of listings and no one's buying anything. That's enough talk about Dibdit. You know, it's a, it's a fun project that I'm thinking about a lot because I think it's got great opportunity, but that's not what this show is about. This show is about me selling only 11 things on eBay. <laughs> I made these wings, by the way. <laughs> it's so funny. It, just so you understand how my mind works, and this is gonna gross out like three quarters of you. I just burped and it tasted like the wings I had for lunch. And then it made me want to talk about the wings and how good they were. <laughs> uh, you know, second, the, the burp was second wings. But anyways, I made these garlic parm wings and they were like really good. I made them in the air fryer and it came out so crispy. Never really cooked much with my air fryer. I've had it, but I never really use it. $426.49 is our total gross sales on eBay. I think last time we sold like $1,700, so that's good. You know, that comic that sold is good. Uh, and we'll sell more comics down the road, but <clears throat> not in a rush. I do want to go get some more graded pretty soon. So maybe, I don't know, probably the new year I'll send more comics in to get graded. All right, guys, this has been all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Uh, make sure you subscribe because my subscriber count just never goes up. You know, but the people that are here, they come back and they watch. And I love you guys for that. But it would be cool to see my subscribers go up a little bit. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.